Good morning. It is Thursday, September 17th. I'm Dan Godwin in for Tim Ryan. I'm Lauren Prisbo. One family must repair their house and vehicles after a driver lost control and crashed right there in the front yard. Police say the driver was involved in a chase. Saul is live in the Pleasant Grove area of Dallas. Yeah, and police still trying to piece everything together. So are the homeowners right now there. Uh, came outside just a little while ago to take a look at all that damage. A big mess, as you can see, to clean up. Uh, they have a, a lot of damage to their five cars, their house, their fence. Uh, the family says, you know, had these vehicles not been parked here in the driveway, family members who were inside watching TV would have been uh, seriously hurt or worse. This house is in the 1100 block of Holcomb Drive in Pleasant Grove. Around 930 last night, the Ledesma family tells me that they were watching TV. All of a sudden, they heard a loud noise. The electricity went out, and then the house shook. When they came out, they saw the driver trying to put it in reverse, but they were stuck. Police say the occupants of the truck uh, involved in an argument up the road at a convenience store with uh, people in a car, a Cadillac. Uh, the argument uh, led to a chase or a race. Still unclear at this point, but uh, the driver of the truck lost control, unfortunately, at the Ledesma home. Well, at the time we saw our five vehicles, the house, it was inside because the truck hit the truck and it cracked the inside of the house. It blew out uh, the whole fence that was right there that's on top of our trucks now and the metal that's right there. Now, luckily, no one in the house was injured. One person in the truck, a teenager perhaps, taken to the hospital. We don't know his condition. The driver could face charges of injury to a child, uh, but no one was arrested here at the scene. Uh, back out here alive, you know, the family says that uh, two men, two women, and three children, one as young as perhaps two, three years old, they were inside that truck when all this happened. But again, no one was uh, seriously hurt, except for that maybe that one person, uh, that one person taken the hospital already, the family says, was in crutches. Uh, they did not say much when all of this happened. Uh, apparently, though, the driver, they did overhear the driver telling the other guy, you know, let's get out of here, let's take off, uh, wanting to leave the scene, leaving the uh, women and children behind. As for the other vehicle involved in this chase, this race, uh, police at this point uh, have not released any information about it those people in there, they just took off. Reporting live in Pleasant Grove, Saul Garza for a good day.